Oh hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to the fifth Solo Play Sunday. Today I'll be soloing a game called The Taverns of Tiefenthal. And yes, I did a solo play of this already, but today we're gonna be using all four modules from the new Open Doors expansion. The solo mode I'll be using is a semi-official variant, but it was created by the designer himself and it's extremely simple and very fun to play. I'll have a link to that variant in the description down below. Before we begin, I thought you should know that Solo Play Sundays are for charity. At the end of the game, I donate about half of my score to a charity and the other half goes to our microloans for entrepreneurs in developing countries through an organization called Kiva.org. The charity for today is the Disasters Emergency Committee's Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. I'll talk more about DEC at the end of the video, but if you have a charity I should check out or a game I could play for the next Solo Play Sunday, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, here we are ready to start a solo game of the Taverns of Tiefenthal with the Open Doors expansion. Of course, I've got all four modules going on right here. There's a lot out on the table, but we'll just talk about the modules as they come up. And this is a beat your own score. My last score, I believe, was 117. So that could be the score to beat. Um, but uh, yeah, there's no real win condition. So we'll just play and see what happens. All right, we're in round one. Of course, I get a counter guest and we'll add them to my counter and let's go ahead and start drawing here all right fantastic i've got a brewer already that's awesome i've got grandma there very cool i've got grandma there i've got a server awesome and a grandma okay lots of grandmas i think i can probably work with that though all right here we go let's roll that looks like a five all right Roll my dice. Of course, for the solo game, we're gonna keep two dice and then re-roll the other two dice. So uh, I'm loving the idea of getting some beers going here. Um, and maybe the monastery track would get me a brewer early on. That doesn't seem too bad. Um, yeah, that could work. What else would I do? I really need some twos or some brewing. Cool, I can do that, sure. So I keep two and then re-roll the other two. All right, two please. Ah, not quite what I want. Hey, but you know what I learned from the last solo play, if you watched that one, is that we can put multiple fives on the monk. Yes, I forgot that my last playthrough, and uh, I was uh, mortified that I had forgotten that. So I guess maybe, what if we just go nuts on the monastery track this game as a way to kind of, you know, make up for that enormous blunder last game. So, uh, I think we're gonna try this. So three moves up the monastery track that goes one, two, three, gets me past a bar back. So I'll add that to my deck. And then I'm making two times two, I'm making four beers. Let me see what's out there for four beers. I don't see anything really great, but I can't store four beers. So maybe I'll get our almost regular right there, this guy takes a value three die and turns it into three tallers. So that costs three and I'll keep the other one and store it like so. All right, that's the end of my round. Let's clean up. You'll notice by the way that I had a card in my discard pile, okay? That comes with one of the early modules. Um, the uh, priest, I suppose, goes over there. So there's that, there's that, and we're cleaning up. Fantastic. And I believe we're ready to go. Again, there's so much new stuff. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything, but uh, that's looking okay. Oh, of course, yes. Roll one die to figure out which guest or guests to remove. Oh my goodness, it's a four. So we will get rid of the fourth guest over there. Okay, so you go away and we'll refill that with another. All right, fantastic. We're ready for round two. We're going to try to keep things moving here. Okay? I can take another one of those level three guests or I can take a bar back. Honestly, I think this is probably the better bet, even though I know I just got one. So we'll double up on him and we'll go ahead and start another night in the tavern. Okay? I have a feeling I'm going to have two of those level three guests. There they are. And my bar back, which I'll put over here. Excuse me. And a regular. Hmm. Not a great draw, not a great draw. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it and hope I can get some threes going on here. So let's see if we can make that happen, okay? All right, now I need to keep track of, of course, the orders from the mayor here. The mayor is hanging out there, ready to go into my deck as soon as I complete all three of these orders. Uh, but it might take a little bit to accomplish them. One, three, three, four, hey! Didn't we say we wanted coins? This is fantastic. If I'm slouching, by the way, it's because there's a tripod right above my head. So sorry for my terrible posture. I like that. I like that, right? 
Got a one and a four left. Let's go ahead and roll those. Four, four. Ooh, not great, not great. I think I'll put a four here and a four here. Without a dishwasher, I've got no way to mitigate that. So I think I'm stuck with that. Not so bad. I've got seven coins and one, two beers. Oh, I don't want another three beer guy. I don't know if I can avoid it though. I don't think I can. I wish I could upgrade that now. That would be helpful, but I can't. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness gracious, of course, we need to look at my bartender. So, uh, of course, this module, uh, module three, I believe, adds um, variable starting player powers, right? And mine is, if I upgrade part of my tavern, right, or hire an employer or whatever, um, you know how you can get a discount, a special offer? by returning corresponding cards back to the supply. When I do that, I still get the discount, but instead of returning the cards to the supply, I get to put them into my discard pile, which is really, really powerful, I think. And this is the part that's relevant right now. If it's an upgrade that doesn't have any kind of discount, it's too cheaper. So believe it or not, this is actually gonna work out wonderfully because I've got three, six, seven coins, okay? I'm gonna upgrade this right here, right? It costs nine typically, but there is no way to discount that, so it becomes seven. So for seven coins, I can upgrade that, flip it over. Of course, that gets me a noble, which I'm gonna try really hard not to forget. Noble goes on top. And then now I will resolve my die here and it'll make me two beers, one, two, plus my bar back gives me three, plus I've got my one in storage, so that's four total, and that will let me buy this fantastic uh, lady right there who is worth four beers and gets me another bar back although it's another three die Whew. yikes so that goes on my deck and a bar back goes on my deck that was a pretty productive round actually i, I didn't think it was going to go so well but doing that upgrade was awesome uh yes i did not uh do a special offer because i didn't you know uh get a discount so i can't do that one yet that's okay all right let's clean up well, we are really moving along, or at least it feels that way. I hope it feels that way at home as well. So this goes in my discard pile and let's move on. Oh, of course, wipe some guests. That was a weird roll. Four, goodbye, add a new guest, and we carry right along into the third night. Start with a die or a dishwasher. Interesting, I'll try a dishwasher, not to mention it's a point, so we'll give it a try. All right, round three, dishwasher. Yes. And then I've got the bar back. And then I've got her. And I've got a noble. Wow, these are not great draws. I'm not sure about uh, mulliganing anything though yet. <sighs> Should I just roll with it? That seems really weak. And I will get a counter guess next round. I think I'm gonna mulligan this. I'm not seeing anything really strong. And I'd rather just Go ahead and wipe it. I, I didn't really like that that much. And I think by wiping it, I'll be able to shuffle everything back into my deck. So let's try this. Here we go. Oh, grandpa, a table. Yes, I really needed that. Another grandpa. Wow, not great. All right, we're shuffling. All right, that should be enough shuffling. We've got, oh no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow. Oh, you hate to see that happen. Oh boy. That is really unfortunate. Oh well, twos and ones, baby, twos and ones, or maybe some fives. Okay, well, Monastery Track going up one more space will let me remove one of these people. I think that's probably worth it. Um, I can keep going up the Monastery Track, or maybe I should work on getting some coin. I'd love to get, by the way, a sommelier, just so I can show you what that expansion adds, so maybe we'll go for that. And also, of course, the uh, Quack Doctor, which is funny, kind of a reference to Quacks of Quedlinburg, I'm sure that would be fun to add that as well. So I can actually make two beers now with my uh, upgraded barrel. So that worked out okay. Even though uh, the numbers look really poor, I think I'll get to do everything I wanted to do, at least explore the first module, which is the sommelier and the Quack Doctor. So why don't we try that? I'll move up one space on the monastery track. Let's me remove one of these guests. Why don't we get rid of Grandpa Joe? Goodbye. Put him way over there. So I did that. I'm making two beers, and I have none in storage. With my two beers, I can get the Quack Doctor. Now, what he does is let me uh, get a coin or reactivate an immediate bonus from one of my guests that are out on my table. So 
can be a very strong card. Uh, I cannot buy another guest because he does cost beer. But anyways, uh, that was two beers, put them on top of my deck. And then with my three coins up here, I will buy the sommelier, which I'll explain as soon as we draw him. So there we go. The third night in the tavern is over. A pretty miserable night. Well, it's like a Wednesday night or something. Not too much exciting going on. Let's roll to remove a guest, a three. And there we go. We're ready to go into round four. All right, the counter guest, let's keep rolling. Sommelier, which goes up here near the wine cellar. That's what this is. We have, oh, my noble. Oh gosh, guys, I forgot to put the noble up into the guest room. It's okay, I will, next time that happens, I will put it in the right place. Guys, I'm so sorry. Again, lots of, lots of things happening with the expansion. I just totally missed it. So that is on me, everybody. Sorry about that. I'll show you that as soon as I get another noble, okay? Oh boy, could I ever do a playthrough without making a mistake? I'm not sure, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, <laughs> oh my, I got no space here. Okay, not bad, not bad. And moving up the monastery track seems like something I'm sort of going for, so I'm okay with the priest, even though he's not very strong. I do have a server, hooray, awesome. And let me take a look here. Do I have at least four different tavern cards on display in your tavern? I do. The quack doctor counts, he's actually on the card right there. And I've got the bar back, and I've got a brewer, and I've got the server. So I think I can immediately uh, complete this, which is five points at the end of the game. Plus, now I can place two dice on one guest card. So that's pretty fantastic. Anyway, where was I? Rolling my server die a one. All right, we're back in action. I had just rolled, my camera ran out of memory. So I rolled a one and three, or I saved a one and three, and then I rolled again and got two fives. So this is where I was at, a one here, a three here, I got two fives here. So I moved up two on the monastery track. I believe I had already gotten my dishwasher. Yes, and then I had spent, um, this is two times two, that's four beers plus one more beer to get this guy from the supply. And I had just gone like this and realized my camera was not recording. So I'm going up two more spaces on the monastery track for a noble. And this noble I will place in the guest room like I'm supposed to. So that goes here, that goes here. Let's replace that with a new guest. Fantastic, and I think I'm good to go. No, I'm not because of the sommelier, but you know what, this is an easy fix, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's also late at night as I record this. Uh, the sommelier, so this is my first time pulling it. What happens is, as soon as all my cards are out, the sommelier puts a wine token on the rightmost guest, okay? And basically it fulfills that guest's thing, so uh, as if it were a die. So I'm actually gonna go up one more space on the monastery track with my priest. Okay, I will not forget that. And the other thing is I also wanna get a quack doctor just to kind of show you how that works. So that's how the sommelier works. Um, and now you've seen it. So, and let's just recap really quick. I spent my money um, to do what? I guess I haven't spent my money yet, have I? No, I haven't. So I have three, I got my dishwasher from the monastery track, but I have three coins to spend that I haven't done anything with yet. Um, well, I have one sommelier. Oh, if I had another one, I could have gotten that. Is there anything I can get for three? No, I don't believe so. I have to remember that any upgrade that doesn't have a discount is discounted too with my bartender. So that actually costs four. If I had one more coin, I could have pulled that off, but that's okay, three coins. And my quack doctor, oh, he's right here. Yeah, well, that's a coin, isn't it? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, that's perfect, okay? I can upgrade my bank down here because instead of six, it's gonna be four. Very nice, I totally forgot that he's here. So he gives me that extra coin. I don't have any immediate bonuses on my guests. Otherwise I could have reactivated them. And I should point out, if you do that, the quack doctor goes back in the supply. Anyways, so we flip this over. That costs exactly four. So that's all the coins I had. I get another noble for another upgrade. And now we are done. My goodness gracious. Whew, people, I'm having a rough time with this. Okay, let's see, I still didn't use a special offer. Uh, I didn't wanna put two dice on a guest, which is that, and I need to have four beers in my storage at least to complete that order, which I still can't do until I upgrade my beer storage, so. Discard pile, wonderful, let's roll and remove a guest and we are halfway done. It looks like a one, you are going away. Oh, that eight beer guy, that would have been nice. All right, there we go. 
and let's carry on into round five a table or a brewer oh you need to go in my discord pile as well how about a brewer i think that's usually my preference when it comes to that all right i think we're ready to start round five let's get to it you go back brewer lovely noble ah now we need to put the noble in one of these guest rooms so uh, go up a gold, go up a beer. This is drawing another card after I'm done drawing, which is nice. And then that card can either go back on my deck or in the discard at the end of the turn. Uh, let's see, upgrade a guest. I love doing that. And then that's the monastery. You'll, somebody's gonna have to explain to me why that is a benefit when you can put multiple fives here. I, that is very puzzling to me. I've looked over the rules. I'm not sure why that is like that. Uh, the guest, by the way, should go at the top, but I'm low on space, so we'll put you there, okay? <laughs> this is going to be a little messy, as my playthroughs tend to be. Another noble. Now, this one does have to go on a table, unfortunately. There you are. And a dishwasher. Aha, uh -huh. and we're done. Honestly, that's not great, but I'll take it because of the brewer. So, let's try. Right, we're rolling. All right, ones and twos. Wow, not great. Ones and twos. Well, ones are okay for beer. Want to keep those two? Sure. And we'll go ahead and carry on. I'm going to be paranoid about that camera running out of memory again, but I think I'm okay now. And a four and a six. Okay, well, six is good for brewing. And a four is good for money. Hey, that worked out fine. I have my dishwasher, but I don't think I'll use it. Oh, wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. As soon as I place the corresponding die in that space up in the guest room, I immediately resolve that effect. So, what I could do is uh, take one of these guests and upgrade it into a guest that's worth up to two more beers. So my five could turn into, excuse me, this seven, for example, or the other seven, right? This one over here is just four money and four, uh, you know, four dice or a level four die for four dollars. So that is certainly a thought. Uh, the catch is you don't get the immediate bonus. So as much as that's a nice spot. I think I almost would rather just have the four coins now uh, and forfeit that special ability. That's a really nice spot, by the way, to convert your regulars into this three beer guy. So that's what else you can do with it. But yeah, I think honestly, I'm not going to use that. I'll just go down here, which I know probably seems silly, but uh, you know, I, I, yeah, it'll be fine. So here we are. Let's go ahead and resolve my four coins. What can I do with that? Uh, this is a six cost if I use my my dishwasher four coins well I think I'm probably just gonna store all those four for now and then with this I've got two uh, three times two I've got six beers well what can we do with six beer I guess I could get a, a four guest I'll do that yeah so I've got six beers I'll store two and spend four I'm gonna keep going this monk track it seems like I'm doing okay with this monastery track so move up one I get a server oh that's gonna be very very helpful awesome put those on top boy I still haven't done the special offer thing and I'll have to upgrade my beer stores that should be a priority man I'd love to finish this up and that governor or mayor is a really strong card so that's that let's clean up of course the noble comes out of the guest room like so like so all right remove a guest or two two okay that when we roll a six we take the third and fourth spot guests away like so, and like so. All right, round six, a counter guess. That's nice and easy. And let's carry on, here we go. Drawing some cards. What do we got? Uh -huh. The monk, the server, love the server. Uh, regular, I haven't got, oh, I guess I got rid of one regular so far, didn't I? Oh, wow, oh my gosh, that's bad. And I've got the server, but honestly, I think I need to wipe this. That's that's just too miserable. Be gone. I know it's a server and I'll probably regret it, but I, I know I have good cards in my deck, don't I? <laughs> Maybe I don't. I, oh boy. Oh, Noble. Yeah, I don't know about this upgrade thing, although now that I see that I have a grandma, I could upgrade her into the three. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. It's kind of like getting rid of her, but even better, because you're upgrading her. Oh boy bar back server i mean sorry dishwasher okay that's not bad and we'll cut to shuffle all right that should be good i'm an extensive shuffler uh while i was shuffling i was thinking about nicola who said on a 
uh, from Drawn to Games who said in a different playthrough video that uh, she was impressed that I can play and record things and remember the rules all at once. And obviously, <laughs> it's harder uh, than it looks, or maybe it looks hard. I mean, to me, I, I feel like I'm stressed over here trying to do all this at once, but uh, <laughs> thank you for the kind words. Oof! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I've got to keep this though. I've got the bar back, I've got the server, I've got the dishwasher. Let's see what we can do with three regulars in my tavern. I always wonder what people who are really good at the games I'm doing solo playthroughs of are, are wondering when they're at home, like, screaming at the camera, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, uh, whatever. I'm trying my best, everybody. I'm trying my best. Let's see, sixes and threes and fours. Well, I'm thinking I might dishwash the four into a five. And then what? Golly. Well, a four. Okay, I've got to do this with my other four. And we're going to immediately convert this two into this guy right here, which is nice because immediately it switches and I can turn that into that. Okay, pretty interesting the way it kind of changes the, the phase structure by letting you do an immediate action. So I like that. And a six and a one. I'm okay with that. I could still make beers or I could go up the monastery track, which honestly, I feel like that's the only thing that's keeping me afloat is, is getting my upgrades over there. Maybe not, but that's where I'm at. Oh no, how many beers did I have? Okay, yes, it was two beers. I must have knocked that at some point and I didn't even notice. So here we are. Let's do the monastery tracks first. That's these two. So two spaces, one, two. That gives me a brewer. I love that. And then I've got three coins here. And I've got four coins here, so I've got seven coins with which to work. Seven is a lot. That's a lot of potential. Seven. Um, let's think. This is eight. Is there any way I could get eight? So I already removed these. I already spent those. Well, you know what? What's one beer going to do, right? I mean, I don't see anything. There's a four out there, but I'd rather have a permanent server, I think. Yes. I love having a server. So I'm gonna do that. I'll turn this into, oh, I forgot about this. I don't think it's mattered so far, but I have my double beer here. Let's turn it into money instead. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will be this. And finally, a couple things happen. My master builder kicks in. This discounts this upgrade down to eight, but instead of returning the server like I normally would, it goes back, oh, sorry, it goes into my uh, discard pile, doesn't it? Yes, I believe so. And. I get a noble here. So that was good, that was all my money. Although I, I should upgrade that maybe. That's okay, because that lets me uh, complete self-optimization. I used a special offer to perform an upgrade. I didn't return the card, but I'm assuming that's what that means. So here I am, and my uh, bonus is I can move one wine marker to another guest when that applies. Four beer stores, that'll have to wait till later. I have two here, I have three here. I could get another three, but honestly, I did this in the other playthrough. I'm wondering if I should just forfeit uh, that one extra beer and just hold on to those two. I think I might, because next round, I think I'll upgrade my beer storage and, and try to complete this last objective, which will give me the governor, the mayor. So let's do that. I know it might not be optimal, but you know, I just, I just, that's what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> all right. There we go, let's remove some guests. The other thing about doing solo playthroughs is I do want to be sort of efficient. You know, I don't want to take take up too much of your time. So that's the other thing I have to consider is trying to play quickly, even if I'm not playing as, as well as I typically can, could. All right, well, carrying on. We are in round seven, aren't we? Wow, roll a die or get a bar back. I mean, this is the only one that I feel like it's always gonna be roll the die, you know, unless you have a lot of servers and a permanent server or something, so. Uh, you don't want it to be redundant, but otherwise, I think always go for that. All right, let's draw. If you're hearing noises, it's my cat playing with his food. Uh, let's see, draw another card toward the end of the game. I feel like sometimes that's a little bit stronger than upgrading, because even if I upgrade a card, am I going to ever see it? Probably not. So let's try that. <laughs> it's not a little bit messy. My brewer, I love that. Let me move this to here. And I've got this monk. This is when a quack doctor could really help because it would move me up the monastery track. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Another noble, oh no. That's my last table, guys. I really need more tables. Maybe that's why I'm not so good at this game. Oof. Do I mulligan it? There's only one more round, my gosh. Um, I've got the brewer. 
but I don't like these cards, and I think I have better cards. My server's permanent. <sighs> Should we? I'm gonna keep it, just in case the last round is a complete fiasco. So that was my free die from the round, you know, from the round. There's a three. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's roll my dice. Ones and sixes will be okay. I would take fours and threes and twos as well. All right, I've got this. Now, you know what I should have done maybe before I roll dice, doesn't matter, but I'll put the three here and I'll draw one more card. Here we go. Okay, that's another guess, that's great. And we put the bet on him and that means at the end of the round I can either top deck that guy or put him in my discard. I'll probably discard him. So, I used my three already. Let's see what I've got to work with. Two could work there. I've got a couple things here. I do want to be brewing beers. I think that's that'll be my focus this round. Although, I know the upgrades are huge as well. I've only got two money to work with here. But what's a six and a one we're gonna do? You know? How would that help me? All right, we're rolling. Four and a three, that's more like it. That is exactly, whoops, that's a four. That's exactly what I needed. Great, 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 great. That's already used. Why don't we, man, I wish my sommelier was going on. Where, where are these cards that I bought? They're just magically disappearing. Let's see, this is two times two is four. Let's upgrade this beer storage though. But then I can't spend all my beers. I need to leave at least four in my storage, but I think that's worth it. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine money to work with. This instead of seven is going to be five, which is great. I've got two beers there and let's go ahead and use my special master builder ability to make this cost five. So there we go. I had two beers. I've got four money left to work with. What can I do with four money? Um, not too much, not too much. I'm checking out my upgrades here. That would cost eight. What can I do with four money? I don't have a table under there. I think I need to store. Oh no, of course I could do. <laughs> of course there's uh, tavern workers I could take. Um, I'm gonna try some LEA. I'm gonna try that. And then I'll keep the one in storage. We'll just see how that goes. And then let's see, what do I need to do? So I did my money. I spent all my money, right? Five and then three and saved one. And I'm making two times two is uh, four. Sorry, I'm thinking about something else. Uh, so I have six beers with the ones in storage and I can only spend two um, if I want to keep four in my supply. I could spend two and get the Quack Doctor. I mean, that sounds okay, actually. You know, if I, if I need to keep four, um, I may as well do that. So I'll do that. Spend two for the Quack Doctor. Again, coin or uh, reactivate an immediate bonus, which hopefully in this last round, I'll have some good ones. So I'll do that, and let me think. My turn is over. I have at least four beers in the beer storage at the end of my turn, so I'll flip this over. I have completed all three of my objectives, which means the mayor joins my, uh, I don't know what thematically is happening, but I guess she's visiting my tavern. Uh, I immediately, I forgot about this, get to do an upgrade for free, I don't get a noble, and then whatever die I put there, I get that many dollars. And combine that with the generous tip, if I can put two sixes, on top of her, I'm gonna get $12. That would be unbelievable, that'd be so cool. So, she's gonna join me, and then I'm gonna do a free upgrade. I think there's a couple options here. The table is huge, you know, you gotta have that, but the most expensive upgrade is the brewer. And if I'm going for a beer route, a beer strategy, which seems like it's kind of what I'm doing, I might just wanna go for the most expensive upgrade. Although, more tables means more money, which means potentially getting that upgrade later. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter because guess what? Round eight, we're getting another upgrade. So it doesn't matter. I'll do the tables and I'll do the brewer, all right? That's great. I'm not used to the, the back side of the sport because, you know, when I'm playing the base game, I'm usually using the other side. But anyway, there's that upgrade. And of course that um, I don't get a noble because that was from my mayor. And then we're gonna wipe. I will, so I can choose the top deck or discard this guest, I think we'll get rid of him. I don't think he's that good or useful. So I'll put that back here. Everybody wipes. And to recap, my last solo score uh, was 117, although I did play one time after that, I believe. Um, but the last solo playthrough, at least, was 117. So that's the score to beat. If I want to get um, a really good score, 160 is like, you know, the top tier, that's called the King's Haunt. So that's, that would be amazing if I could reach 160, which I doubt is gonna happen. Right. Let's remove a guest, that's a four. Rolled a lot of fours. Uh, 
Hannah and I play this game a lot, and right now our record is seven wins for her and one win for me. So I'm not great at taverns. I'm not sure why, but uh, maybe you can tell me why. Uh, maybe give me some strategy tips in the comments. So another upgrade without a noble. I will upgrade the tables, and we are ready for the final round, everybody. Everything's looking okay. I know the mayor's in there. That'll help. And I've got four beers and one money. So here we go. Let's go. You know what I haven't done? I haven't taken any of these um, benefits yet, but I really didn't have an opportunity to, to take them. Nothing really clicked there yet. So there's the mayor. They say mayoress. I don't know why it's not just mayor. So uh, we'll call her mayor. Yes, very nice. My sommelier, which means my rightmost guest immediately gets um, you know fulfilled. I love it. I don't love that. I am okay with that. I am okay with this. I love the server. I love the brewer. And then I'm done right there. Okay. And I didn't get a noble even. Hmm. If I did, I would have put it here where you get to draw one card. But I think this is where I'm at. And uh, it is what it is. So let's make the most of this last round. Let's get to it. All right. Uh, two servers. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, I should put this right there. Okay, that's awesome. Right. Well, and I didn't get my quack. Oh, I did get my quack doctor. Yes. Interesting. Hey, you know what? Just so you know, if you're starting to get real clever here, the quack doctor cannot repeat the immediate bonus of <laughs> the mayor. That would be unbelievably strong. So it does say that in the rule book. But I could do the monastery check. Anyway, rolling two servers, a four and a three. I'll take that. And let's roll these guys. Sixes and ones, I suppose. All right. Hey, I already have a four and a three. I don't need more. <gasps> you know what? I can make four. No, that's six beers. But I could instead get 12 money. And it's all about the upgrades. I think maybe my problem with this game is that I really go heavy on the beer strategy. I just don't work on money. And honestly, it's all about the upgrades. Every upgrade's 10 points, you know? So. Maybe that's what I'm missing in this game. Wow, okay, that would have been cool if this could stack here, but uh, I can't. By the way, if you're wondering what in the world I'm doing there, this is the generous tip. You can place two dice on one guest card and thus also take double the amount of dollars. So that's what that is. I'll pull this off to show that I have uh, you know, activated that. And what else can I do? I can move my wine marker to another guest, but there's no point there. And by the way, this is still five points even if I don't take the benefit. And then if there's one die on the barrel, receive one taller for every bar back in your tavern. I do have one. So by putting a die here, I not only get two beers, but I also get one taller because of the bar back. So I suppose that's where that'll go, I guess. Yeah, because you know what? I've got that one here. I've got this here. And then I've got the four. Oh no, what am I gonna do with the four? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll put that here for now, and then maybe I can kind of maybe upgrade the cash box before I activate it. That's an idea. Oh, I wish I could move the monastery up, track up twice, but I don't know if there's any way I can do that. Well, yes, of course I can with the back side of this. Sometimes I forget that that's the other benefit is moving up the monastery track. So, hmm, I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. So let's do this first. It gives me a table, which is two points. That's probably worth it. So I'll discard this to go up one. And then I will spend my Quack Doctor to reactivate the instant bonus of the Monk, which goes up another track. And that puts a table on top of my deck. I wish I could have had that going into this round. Let me go ahead and pull this off. There is one die on the barrel. So I get one taller because there's a bar back. So we'll just have to remember I have plus one coin. Well, let's do coins first. So that's six, 12. Yeah, 12, 15, 18, 18. Okay, I can do a lot with 18 and I have one in storage and I have another one. So let me think, okay. 18, 19, 20. Let's go down to zero and see what I can do with 20 money. All right, fantastic. So uh, 20 money, we're gonna take this. This is gonna upgrade for instead of 10, eight because I'm the master builder. So eight, which leaves me with 12, if I'm remembering correctly. 12 and I haven't pulled this yet. I haven't factored that in. Um, I have 12 money left. I'm going to pull this off or activate it now for three more. So I'm at 15 money. I activated all those things. It's all done. 15 money. That is a lot. I pr should probably do the cheap ones since they don't return to the supply anyway. Um, 
15. Let's do this. This costs six because of my discount. So I'll flip this over. Wait a minute. I just flipped that. Of course, I need a noble. That's another noble for that upgrade. This will return to the discard pile. Oh gosh, I said 15, that was six, right? So I have nine left. Okay, for nine, I could do this, I could do this. I don't think it really matters. I should probably do the cheap one just because. So I will spend eight. Actually, no, this will be six. Yeah, so I have three money left. Yeah, it's six because there's no uh, discount on it, so it's two cheaper. So I will upgrade this, oh my gosh, for six. And if I've been able to narrate this all and do math at the same time, I believe I have three coins left. Oh, that's another upgrade, of course. Another noble for me. Three coins left. Well, I don't think I can upgrade anything at this point, but I can buy a dishwasher, which gives me one more point. And I think I've used up all my money. I think that's it. All right, fantastic. And then for the beers, I've got each one of these is making three. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, with four in storage. I have 10 beers, so why don't I just pay the nine and buy a noble, like so. There we go, and that leaves one beer in my supply. I can't do anything with one buy, oh, sorry, with one beer, and I think it's time for scoring. So, a lackluster game, I, I don't think I did phenomenally, but then I'm sure there's things when I go back and watch, I'll be like, oh, why didn't I do that? But that's where we are. So let's score and see how we did. All right. If you want to stay tuned for the scoring, uh, feel free to stick around. Otherwise, you can skip ahead. I'll have the timestamp on the screen. So here we go. Boy, I've got a tremendous, tremendous amount of cards. Look at this deck. Holy smokes. Boy, I feel like that's what the expansion does. It gives you so much more to work with. So we got some space here. Let's take a look. Okay, so not scoring. I'll put this over there. Two, four. Mm hmm. Let's see. Quack Doctor doesn't get me any points, of course. There we go. Like so. All right, I want to see lots of nobles. I wonder if, if you play uh, Taverns of Tifa, I wonder if you notice that at the end of the game, it you'll count up your nobles and your upgrades and your, you know, things don't match. <laughs> that tends to happen a lot to Hannah myself. It's, I, I think it's very common that you upgrade something, you're caught up in the, you know, caught up in the moment and you forget to take the upgrade, the noble. So if that happens to you, you are not alone. We make that mistake all the time. So. There we go, I'm seeing lots of tens, very good. By the way, for scoring, of course, uh, Wolfgang, Warsh, Wolfgang Warsh has a kind of suggested, you know, if you get 121 to 140, you're a flourishing in, stuff like that. Um, I wonder how the expansion affects that scoring. I wonder if it's easier to get higher scores because of all the different, you know, ways you can mitigate things and uh, change things with the expansion. So let's double check. I didn't skip any points there. No, I did not. So I've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nobles. Yes, eight nobles. That seems to be my average, eight nobles. And then I've got uh, 10 there. I've got 10 there. So that's 100, 104. Yep. And then I also completed all of my objectives. So 104 plus 15 is 119, which puts me at just at the very, very top of an upscale in. So. I suppose I beat my score from last time, but uh, 119 is where I'm at. I don't think I'm missing any other scoring. So there we go, 119 points. And that was the Open Doors expansion for the Taverns of Tiefenthal. With a score of 119, we're first gonna send $50 to Vizholka, who lives in southeastern Albania, which again is surprisingly close to Tiefenthal. Vizholka is a 57-year-old wife and mother of two who is currently looking for a loan to cover her surgery as well as some post-surgery medication. So we're gonna send $50 Toward that loan, which is actually being matched today. The other $69 are going to be donated to the Disasters Emergency Committee's Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. The DEC is a group of 15 UK charities which is able to raise funds quickly and efficiently at times of crisis overseas. Their Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal serves specifically to provide food, water, shelter, health care, and protection to those fleeing the crisis in Ukraine. You can find out more about the Disasters Emergency Committee and Kiva in the description down below. I'll also leave some links for some other ways you can help the people of Ukraine. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye. Oh, hey there. It's boy. <laughs> oh, hey there. It's boy game day. 
The wow. <laughs> this still got me. This still got me.